I found these things online and they are basically power supplies that you hook to your uh, like batteries from Makita, whatever, and they will produce, in this case, I bought the 220 volt version, not quite sure why, but uh, yeah, and it uh, should produce 220 volts, and then over here you can see the uh, USB charger ports. Uh, it has the American style plug, the round pin style, and I believe this is Australian down here. Uh, and that's pretty simply it. You connect it to a battery and you power it up here. The battery clips on there. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's supposed to produce either the 220 volts here or the USB output for charging up here. Uh, this is the battery voltage. And this is the box. All the sides of the box say exactly the same thing. So it's supposed to be a 21 volt battery, although I saw somewhere it says 18 to 21 volt. Uh, dual engine intelligent flash charging, whatever that is. Low energy consumption, high compatibility. I'll talk about that in a second. Anti-electric shock, uh, resistant to plugging and unplugging, whatever that means. And then these are the instructions that came with it. Uh, product parameters, it's 120 watts, uh, DC 18 uh, to uh, 18 volts to uh, 21 volts is the input range. Output on this one is 220 volts. Uh, and it output varies with the input voltage. So yeah, as the battery fades or if you use a different battery, it uh, changes the output voltage. The static current, so when it's not operating, is 0 0.05 amps, still significant. The orange USB is 27 watts. 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, 12 volts, 2 amps. White power is 15 watts, uh, 5 volts, 3 amps, and voltage display is 5 to 30 volts. Protection, overheat, protection, overload protection. So, uh, apical scope, uh, switching power load, mobile phone charger, laptop charger, power tool charger. Uh, lamp, set-top box, LCD, small TV. Uh, router, Wi-Fi, LED, LCD display, DVD, LED lamp, ordinary tungsten filament lamp, energy saving lamp, ordinary non-temperature regulating uh, electronic soldering, etc. So yeah, basically it repeats the same thing down here, but it uh, pretty much the only thing I would ever use it for is like an electric soldering iron if I had a 220 volt one. But I also noticed they say ordinary tungsten filament but uh, they don't talk about LED bulbs, except right there they mention it. But I'm kind of wondering, because my guess is this is a square wave output, and it's not going to, uh, to be wonderful for a lot of applications. Let's see, not, ap uh, not applicable appliances. Iron core transformers, such as audio, electromagnets, okay, so my... The one drill I have that's 220 doesn't sound like it would work because electromagnet, solenoid valve relay, and AC contactors that use iron core transformers, temperature regulating electric soldering irons, yeah, and dimming type lights. So, yeah, there's a lot of things it cannot be used for. Let's zoom in a little tighter and you can get a better look at it. So, this side is just a vent. This side is what I thought was a Makita style. It actually turns out it is. It just doesn't work with my particular Makita uh, battery. And I will again kind of go back on what I just said, but I will show you what I'm talking about. This appears to have been originally like a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type plug. That's no longer used, so they just put a sticker over it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love uh, love the quality. Okay, let's zoom back out, make sure we're in focus. And so I was originally going to kind of show you this and then put my Makita battery on there, but you'll see that it don't fit. So yeah, so the display part was kind of hard, but then I remembered that, you know what? I have a fake Makita battery. That's a long story. So let's uh, 
Get that back in focus. Slide that in place. You can maybe see the blue light in there. Kick that on. And it tells me I got 20.4 volts coming out of there. Theoretically, the battery underneath here is a uh, 18 volt, four amp hour battery. But again, I said it's, it's a knockoff, so it's not anywhere close. The other one I showed you is a uh, 18 volt, 1.3 amp hour. And I did some math and uh, to see how useful this would actually be. So let's see, at one amp output, which is not very much, 220 volts uh, would be 6.5 minutes. So my drill wouldn't last, my drill would last about a minute, assuming this wouldn't uh, just burn up. Uh, my 110 volt stuff, well, that would, at one amp, it would last 13 minutes. Again, one amp isn't very much. 12 volts, uh, so two hours it would last in theory. That's assuming this is 100% efficient. Five volts, 4.8 hours. Now, of course, if you had a, like a 48 uh, watt hour, these numbers would all be double, but still they're, they're kind of small to be very practical. Uh, what else should I, would you want to know? Um, yeah, I just can't uh, see any real use of it. I mean, maybe like, you know, uh, charging your phone, I think you can do better for, for most things. You know, your car is gonna have a charger. Uh, any kind of AC wall is gonna be better. Maybe some very niche applications that you might need a phone somewhere and you happen to have a Makita battery. Um, but it doesn't seem to like any kind of uh, device that has switching power in it. So yeah, or uh, what do they call it? Any kind of an iron core transformer type stuff, relays or electric motors, what have you. Yeah, that's a, that's a square wave, not what I would call a clean sine wave. So I thought it was a pretty cool idea, but once I got it and kind of looked at the limitations of it and then the uh, time limitations that we looked at, I mean, just, uh, just not very practical. Um, but it was, uh, how much was it in money? I think it was, uh, oh, eight or nine dollars, something like that, plus shipping. But price is not too terrible. I don't know. I mean, as an experiment, it was okay. And, you know, kind of as a show and tell item, okay. But as anything I'd want to use on a job site or, you know, out and away, um, you know, it wouldn't even power a soldering iron very long. So I think you can do better. Okay, well, that was it. I just thought you might uh, find this interesting. I keep making mistakes so you don't have to. Okay, I hope you found that useful in your DIY projecting.